YouTube, 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 never fear, Logan Jay is here, back with another sneaker review today, I bring a pickup that I got about two weeks ago, I got these from Full Locker, it was on afternoon, so I picked them up and went straight to work, didn't have no time, and that's why it's taking like two weeks to try to get the review out, and so here we are, today's Wednesday, just found out that the UNC shock drop through Nike is the legit drop for Nike and we're not getting the release this Saturday once again finish line let me get through did not receive an email to secure the pair saw people were getting through I checked my email like I said and then I was trying to like sign in as I've done before go in it wasn't letting me on my phone I'm home I'm like let me check my computer sign in through the computer and checked on the second page and it's there all the bigger sizes had already been sold out so I picked the biggest size that was available luckily I did that because the release is looking a lot harder to get this weekend because Nike's not doing the release so your shock drop and your re regular release um, they're just doing shock drop releases and not doing the whole thing you gotta figure they're gonna do uh, restock down the road but they're trying to like create a little bit of buzz on it this pair thought they were gonna make a lot of pairs and it seems like they're not just keeping up with the whole UNC throughout the last couple years not that many pairs uh, as much as the demand you figure every year that goes by you create more of a demand but they just keep it the same and then doing this um, release where we're over here thinking they just haven't loaded up two sneakers but they will release as everybody's saying that they're gonna release this weekend even other stores sold uh, are releasing them this weekend but not Nike so that sucks um, price there are pop to go up a little bit I wouldn't say they're gonna skyrocket it all depends um, once other people you know can't hit say all the raffles that they've entered and we'll we'll just see how it goes. Um, it looks like a fire sneaker. I know I was gonna get it. Luckily, I got a uh, a pair that I gotta pick up. Didn't pick it up yet. Saying that I got it and having it in hand. I don't normally like to say that, but I am letting you know. Did get them. Uh, and just gotta pick them up. So, but um, but yeah. So finish line. Thank you once again for holding it down. Buy free system. Other time that I could never hit online and reserve. A pair that I see people get bang boom boom and all this I never got through on none of that you know you peel for for a reservation never dang 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 always so at least this new system it does work you're only able to get it from the one store where you live but you know once the bigger sizes go out which normally whoever's trying to get the pairs more of a reseller they're just going for the bigger pairs I how you have all the smaller sizes again um still available everybody's always going after the bigger sizes they could charge more for men you know here we go we got the nice you know special edition box you got your cardinal red your jump man in white elephant print love that touch love it when they do that give you the extra little details Air Jordan 3 Retro White Light Curry and Cardinal Red Style code is CT8532126 Made in China There is no tag from what I'm hearing Again this happened The Accolated Pairs 2 finish line Are coming from like uh, Overseas so we're not getting The tags and with the little price increase They just um, remove it That's it they're like we're we're having a little bit of uh issues and since we're getting pairs from different locations you got to figure these are going to restock somewhere we'll get a, a reservation and these probably will be at the outlet too it's a was a decent size release you got your elephant print tissue paper there is no sticker or stamp action going on on this box just anybody wondering what's going on with it nothing there and here 
we are. Woo! Yes, we got them. The Cardinal Threes. As soon as I saw them, when they were previewing them on the sneakers cam thing, which I don't have as I have a droid, they do it for the iPhone, people with the iPhone, they are able to watch. I don't have it, so I'm left out, and I see everybody, you know, being able to watch it and everything. I don't get nothing. So one day it will uh, be updated and I will be able to watch, but for now, nothing. Same thing when the sneakers app first came out, I couldn't um, have the sneakers app because I didn't have an iPhone. It was like so many releases I missed out on only because I didn't have an iPhone. That was crazy, but that's how it was. I started out with the outsole. You got your gray outsole, Jordan in red there, red here on your pivot point, little hit of white on your uh, portion that leads up to the midsole which is white here white stitching you got your cardinal red and like a nice shiny uh look to it and it goes all the way up to where the elephant print is so it wraps around normally we're like a cut off here or here you know but i love that they gave us a lot of red it just works perfectly you know nice good balance of red on the sneakers the sneakers predominantly all white so you got your elephant print which i love that elephant print you know there is different variations of the elephant print you got like a super og one which is very thin lined and you know but this one i love this look on it you got your smooth leather here one by the mudguard area there you got your tumble leather that we all know all on the upper feels amazing you got some smooth leather with perforations around the heel collar there your heel tab is in a white plastic you got your jump man in red and air as well in that cardinal red got some more elephant print right here where the eye stays are and that is shiny as well this plastic eye stays going in the uh, lateral and the medial you got some light curry eye stays going there and as well as in the jump man embroidered on fire more perforated leather smooth going up to the top that's smooth as well you got your eye stays here more of that shiny cardinal red little stitching going around the eye stays as well as in the medial right here your sock liner is in this nice smooth silky smooth cardinal red man it feels nice really really good your insole is in that cardinal red your jump man is white right there it is fire fire sneaker and you got of course white laces did not come with an extra set of laces and this sneaker is fire as i said um as soon as i saw it i was like yes i need it luckily i um was able to cop um one sneaker uh that i passed on which i shouldn't have but you know you you feel certain way about the sneaker sometimes you're like i shouldn't have done that so you learn from the lesson or whatever so a couple years ago i believe it was like two years ago the the unc threes came out they had a white sock liner and i was just like nah i love how they did the two-tone jump man embroidery going on clean upper same thing like this but you know that whole thing and always trying to say well i don't need everything maybe i'll get them used but the hype was crazy and it still is and that sneaker is going for crazy money but i was like i love how this one is it gives it a nice balance of uh, that carnal red your carnal red sock liner like the vision like last year with the hyper royal ones same color block as the turbo greens that released like two years before that and i love that the one had the the gray new book swoosh to give it a nice contrast you know i i returned those back to nike i regret it but it is what it is and but when i saw the ones that released last year the hyper royals i was like perfect that's it so the same thing with these i seen the sock liner but even if i see a sneaker with the white sock liner i'll um i'll still debate if i'm picking them up depending on the colorway Normally you got the white clean upper, it's gonna be fire. And of course, look at the shape, it is fire. It is not blocky on the toe box. It just goes up and it's just got this perfect, oof, beautiful, beautiful job, beautiful build. 
Jordan, Nike, you know, um, one thing that I did see people posting is that they did have some kind of like um, little paint job issues, glue marks and stuff, but there is nothing going on with the, my pair. You know, sometimes it goes like that. Sometimes you just get them and uh, I'm always like, man, why am I the only one that always gets the mess up pairs and stuff? So um, this one did come with a somewhat messed up box, if you will. So, uh, I'll show you that midsole really quick. And I just love the sneaker. It is fire. Great job. I never owned the Cardinal 7. Always loved it, but I never bought it. But this one, man, I, I had this feeling, thoughts, that this one is done better than the OG Cardinals. I don't know. That's just me. I love the added elephant print that we see on the true blue threes i always love that touch i always like damn why didn't they throw it on the white cements man i miss out um i miss uh wearing those white cements as i sold them years ago i wore them let them go and i got the black cements and um yeah i'm not letting those go but i always wish that that had a little bit of a elephant print but i get they try to like have different um little little things to to, to separate the sneakers is basically they're both all white you got the all white um true blue and all white white cement so they had to try to give it a little difference in the look same thing with the fire red it's all white sneaker and then you got your like grayed more grayed out blackish uh elephant print so and those will be coming out later this year another fire og coming out by nike and jordan brand so can't wait for that one threes man still one of the best sneakers man just doing it up coming out with new classics using from their old line you know bringing it back some sometimes they'll go back and try to pick up a, a classic og colorway and throw it on another silhouette and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this one it did i just think they did a great job um i say get them uh now as um you know, these are similar to the like the Katrina ones that released a couple years ago, and I think there was like some denim. They're still in the same style vein, but um, I think these are better, man. I don't know, just fire, and I can't wait. What when when are the white cements coming back out? You know, it's been 2013, I believe it was 2013 with the 88s. I know they did the free throw jump and everything. You know, with the clear out so missed out on those they made those somewhat limited because you had justin timberlake come out with his three the super bowl three so we've been doing a lot of super bowl going on in the last recent years as justin travis and uh eminem this year but we know those threes are not coming out as eminem doesn't um, do releases general releases or limited releases to the public so but um but it's nice to see you know um, we'll see what other uh, Jordans will be coming up the Super Bowl. It is a big event, so um, they like to unveil, you know, certain colorways or collabs that they got going on. So, yeah, YouTube, fire. I love this sneaker. Just, man, great job. All right, YouTube, it's your boy, Look at Channel. I'm signing off.